Greetings! I'm Chappers. And I'm the captain. And we're at Anderson's. We certainly are. And uh, it's technology day today. We're going to geek out with you uh, and talk about some new gadgets from uh, companies like uh, Roland and Boss. So the first one, if I can just... Oh, it's the first one is the brand new Boss RC3 Looper. Uh, this is the replacement for the RC2 Looper. Um, and we're going to show you kind of what the knobs and buttons do on this. Yes, that one turns off all the garbage de compactors in the detention area. <laughs> and I've got a little bit of paper here that Roland sent me through that tell me what the RC3 does that the uh, Digitech Jam Man and the Boss RC2 didn't do. So apologies if, if, if this is uh, factually incorrect, Digitech, but Roland sent it to me. Uh, I'm sure it's right. So RC3, this one here, has a three hour stereo memory time. Wow, so that's, that's a lot of memory time. Compared to the Jam Man, which was 35 minutes, and the Roland RC2, which was only 16 minutes, both in mono, that's like 10 times more nearly. It's like 80 goldfish. Uh, we have 99 memory locations in here, which is the same as the Digitech Jam Man, but a lot more than the old RC2. Uh, we've got stereo inputs and outputs now, which none of the other two pedals have. Uh, it runs on batteries, uh, which the other pedals, uh, which the Jam Man doesn't, albeit I'm pretty sure batteries in here last about half an hour, so you probably want to use the power supply. And it now has the USB output, which you can use to store uh, all the loops that you make and back them up onto your PC, which in fairness the Digitech Jam Man also does, um, but the old RC2 didn't. <laughs> you sounded like Chewbacca then. Do that again. <laughs> so, um, Really? Tell them what a looper is for, Rob. Well, if you haven't got any friends and you're on your own in your bedroom and you're a guitar player, you might want to have jam. And the easiest way to do that is to get yourself a looping situation pedal like this loop station RC3 by Boss. Or, I suppose, if you're a super talented live gigging musician, particularly like a solo artist or yes. something like that, and you want to create some epic big backing tracks to jam along to, and if you go onto uh, YouTube, and which you're already on, obviously, because you're watching us on it, uh, and just type in, um, I think it's the Boss Loop Station World Championships, yes. and yes, there is one, you get to see some crazy shit that guys with these pedals do. I'll tell you what, if you want to see some crazy stuff with a loop pedal, forget guitar players, go check out Dub FX. Mm and love someone and you will just not believe your ears with the guy can do, people like Woodnote. note. I'm just talking, you know, I'm just saying. There are some guys out there, some crazy cats doing this stuff. Blah! So we have put the RC3 through the effects loop of this fine and dandy Blackstar amplifier here. And Boom! And the reason I've used the effects loop rather than the, the going into the front of the amplifier is what it'll mean is we can record loops using one of the channel sounds on the amplifier and then do overdubs or play over the top using a different channel sound, which is a bit more interesting. We have a Black Star reverb unit on the floor down here. Yep, because there's no reverb in these amplifiers. This is very easy to use. In fact, it's pretty much like the looper in the Roland Cube series, but kind of, you know, in a pedal. You bought yourself a little friend on the floor. Uh, you press it once, you start playing, it's recording what you're doing. You've got to make sure, though, this is where the skill comes in, that you get it on the rhythm. Yeah. On the what stick? On the one. On the rhythm. Um, or the one, because if you don't get it spot on, you'll be really annoyed that it all kind of sits out and everything, and you've got to stop it on the rhythm. rhythm. And there's a, there's a useful uh, tool for that, because of course it does have um, a, a, some rhythm, a rhythm section in there. So Which we're going to play with yeah, in later on. Yeah. Uh, so the first time you smack it, you're recording. The second time you step on it, it's overdub mode. So you can play, you know, little extra touches, overdubs, finish your pre-production, you're into the studio proper now. And then the third time you step on it, what happens then? You're just in play mode. You're playing it again, double step it, and it stops. So you can, there, there is a, a, an optional extra foot switch that you can put uh, into the side of this thing. It's the, the Boss FE6, FS6, sorry, which does um, give you some extra functionality so you're not kind of always double tapping on this to stop it. But basically, I think most people will just use this on its own because it's really not that difficult to get used to.
I can adjust the volume of the rhythm, as you've just seen me do. So I can get it just at the right level for Rob to play over the top of. Double tap. He's nailed it. Honestly, jump. double tap. What's that? That's from a film. What film is it from? <laughs> Zombie Land. Double tap. Boom. It's <laughs> good. You got to see that film, mate. I will. I gave you this pedal what five minutes ago. Oh yeah. And you've already kind of nailed. And we're already how it having works. fun. So that's the thing, it's, isn't it? It's pretty easy. Already having fun. All you need is one of these big bag of <laughs> and some beer <laughs> and some Mars bars as you're away and a cup and a nun or something. <laughs> 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 Something I just discovered is that it's really hard just playing lead over rhythm guitar, unless it's really rhythmy and choppy and sort of giving you all the quarters. You kind of want to have a beat. Yes. And so we've got some beat. Okay, so if I go into the uh, rhythm mode on the... Uh... Just turn that down a second. If I go into rhythm mode, I've got ten different rhythms to choose from. They go from a simple, uh, just a hi-hat based rhythm like this one to uh, some basic drum rhythms, all the way through to some fairly unusual sort of bossa nova style rhythms like this one. And I, can, I have a tap tempo control here so I can adjust the tempo of all of those, but what I'm going to do for Rob is I'm just going to pick out uh, a real straight sort of rock drum beat, get the right tempo for a back in black and Rob's going to rock out. Yes. Two, three, four. Double tap. Double tap. We're going to write a really simple tune on the spot like we do. So Lee's going to find me a nice beat, a nice, nice simple, simple non kind of samba rhythm. A non samba. And I'll just rhythm. do some power chords and then I'll put some nice overdubs on top. And then we've got a tune for our new band. Yeah, what are we calling it? <laughs> Who That's is? good. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Okay, it is ready to go as so, soon as you are. So Lee's found me uh, a cool drum beat to rip down. I'm going to just make up a lot of random guitar chords and pretend it's a song for any band Squirrel's Tale. And um, we're going to have some fun. What we're going to also do is what you'll see on this one is Rob's going to use the overdub stuff. So you'll yes. see the basic rhythm section go down plus overdubs and then the solo over the top.
of course, what you can now do, if you like this, if you really like that, is uh, write it. So, really? Yeah, so to now we've SG. saved that. So that's sound oh. number one, which is never going to go away now. So you've got 99 of those. So if Rob comes back to this tomorrow and thinks, you know what, you know, I'm going to nail that tune. Of course, what you can use is you're building up loops. You could plug a bass guitar in if you wanted to and add your loops. You could plug your iPod or any other audio source into the auxiliary input wow. and build up your loops. So it's not just a guitar tool, you know, I mean, it could be used for uh, any kind of musician. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just show you that just so I'm not lying. I've just saved that as patch number one. If I switch this off now, you know, imagine I've gone away for the night and I come back again and I can't remember what way all my leads go in, but there we are. <laughs> we hope it's this way. Um, Fine, hold on. You just saw me unplug it all. And just to prove to you that the uh, backing track that Rob did is still in there. Here we go. Awesome. Squirrel Tail's first single. So there you I'm go. I'm a fist circle. Uh, and if you, once you've used up your 99 memory locations, if you want to, you can uh, back that all up to your PC using the USB output. So there you go. It's very cool. Every guitar player. I, little, you know, fact of the day. This is just to give you an idea of how popular the previous loop pedal was. With, with the exception of the Boss Tuner pedal, which sells billions and billions, the next best selling Boss Compact pedal that they do is the Looper. So outsells the distortions and the choruses and everything. So that's how popular it's been. So I think RC3 is going to be a super winner. Yes. I love this pedal. I agree. Uh, and now we're going to have some fun. We put a beat on and we're going to take it in turns to build up a bit of lead. Cool. That's, that's a like bit hardcore. That's a bit hardcore, yeah. Get so now we've got a whistle. <laughs>